Okay, we're getting back to filmmaking here, and this is a uh, another edition of the Amateur versus Pro series. And what this is, is it's an attempt to show you the difference between when you hire an amateur and when you hire a professional. And gosh, this video, we're talking about sound, which I have done. I have hired an amateur sound. Uh, it was kind of like, give the guy a shot type of thing. And I, uh, for a sound recordist on a film, cost us a ton of money and it truly taught me the lesson if you think it's expensive to hire an, uh, a professional try hiring an amateur meaning <laughs> if we just paid that rate for the professional we wouldn't have to deal with all the uh, audio work that we had to do and the sound mixing that we had to do afterwards ADR and things like that because stuff wasn't captured but specifically on sound I've said it before and I'll say it again the most important aspect of your movie more than even this image because uh, if you want an example of that get the most beautiful 8k camera and take an image and uh, don't have any microphone you know just use the camera's microphone see how that looks <laughs> when you record some you know a couple lines on screen or something like that how does it look it looks as amateur as you possibly can imagine no matter how beautiful the picture looks now flip that and do some grainy super 8 type style super 8 uh, millimeter camera and film and take that and have perfect sound it looks as professional as any movie out there in fact it looks stylized and cool all right so sound is the most important the second you don't have good sound everything falls apart it looks amateurish and sound is the most important aspect i'm sure there's some sound people watching this that are like amen <laughs> but it's true so if you say that and and i tell you that you know amateur versus professional that's not something that you could ever skimp on i would i, I can't imagine i mean after that one lesson in the movie and that's going back um seven years i believe when i made that mistake i'll never make it again there's never a time where I'll go, you know, let's just, you know, we, we, we'll allocate this money somewhere else. Don't worry about the sound guy. Get some, somebody beginning a chance. Um, I just realized as I'm saying this now, it happened on a different film where I didn't hire the sound guy, but he had uh, messed up a couple things. And uh, not only did he, first, it, it was like he, he told it when I, I confronted him and I said, hey, because the director came to me and I said, hey, did you... Um, what, what happened here? You messed up the, the scene. And by the way, we had to record that scene all over again, add another day to the schedule, cost us thousands of dollars. Um, but when I confronted him, he, see, he denied it. So then it was like, well, he's either lying or he doesn't know, right? He doesn't know that he screwed up. Either way would be bad. One, he's a liar. The second way, he does not experience to even know when he screwed up, right? So uh, you, this is, gosh, this is one where there's not even a, if sands or buts, you've got to go hire a professional sound guy. I will say that, um, the sound person that worked on uh, my last film, Ask Me to Dance, uh, the, the, the film that I directed, it's actually, I've been, produced three films since then, but th that film, uh, the first film I directed, was so good that we didn't have any ADR. That was the first time we had zero ADR, which is when you have to record um, uh, the, uh, it's called automatic dialogue replacement, is when you have to record the lines and match up the lines afterwards because they weren't recorded on set. Th this was the first time there was literally none of that we had to do for the entire movie. So that's what you get when you hire a professional.